G'day, it's Robbie again. Well, today I'm going to do some more gas brazing. And this time I'm making up a T piece for one of these magnetic uh, tip holders. I'll be showing you here how you would mount it to do this particular job because even though you're heating down here, there will be some heat transfer. We don't want to damage the magnet. So, what you do is you put a heat sink on it, and this vice will be the heat sink. So you can see how I've mounted it. I'm brazing down in there, got my G clamp, or a G clamp on a vice, in a vice. So yeah, it's easy. Just think ahead. Make sure that yeah, you do get a heat sink there because that will take a lot of the heat away. Certainly won't be enough to damage the magnet. But otherwise, yep, heat will travel. Okay, let's get on and do it. Okay, so you saw how I did that, heat it up red hot, run your, run your, uh, your bronze in once the metal's hot enough to melt the rod, and then uh, work it with a bit of wire after to get rid of any excess. Now it's just meant to clean it, cool it down, air cool it, do not quench it in this case because we're using hardened steel here. Uh, the dubs are back. Okay, and uh, yeah, once it's cooled down, we'll, we'll just clean it up with a wire wheel and should be good to go. Okay, I can grab a hold of that tip quite easily. That's not even, it's, it's warm, that's all. The vice has acted as a giant heat sink and it's taken the heat away. So in this case, we're thinking about removing the heat before it gets to here, but we're also holding the item so that where we do want to weld it, brace it, it's got lots of localised heating with very little to take it away. Now you can see how the heat is localised here. It hasn't extended out to the ends. These are hollow. This is a piece of stainless steel rod that I've drilled in on each end to about there and there. And then I've drilled a centre section, put a couple of grub screws in to hold it, everything in position. Oh, yeah, a couple of bolt, bolt stubs and uh, I've tapped the thread 
and then of course I've braised it. So now we've got a nice strong tea piece, so that should be really good. finished job pretty pretty clean pretty neat you would never get that sort of a finish with electric welding and uh, it would just eat away the the metal plus you're welding dissimilar metals here one is stainless and one is high carbon steel these are the original uh, holders and I mean, if you use these, you know that these grips flex and threaten to strip out. That one's the same. So now we've got a, a good, strong bar with plenty of leverage. And uh, all I did was make it out of one of these extension shafts that you can get off of the internet for a couple of bucks. I think I paid two dollars for each for a couple of these and uh, yeah, there you go, simple job. So if you've got a gas torch, uh, you've got map gas, use it. It, uh, it can do things that you just can't do very well with electric welding and it won't distort stuff, it won't erode stuff. If you're not happy with your job, you can meld it and pull it apart and do it again. So you've got lots and lots of options with gas welding. Okay, that's it from me. I hope you got a few ideas out of that, and yeah, we'll see you next time. Cheers.